Hey everyone, my name is Mary. Welcome back to my channel, Mama Bear Prepper. You guys, I am finally back for another video. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's been a while since I posted because I was out with COVID. Um, luckily though, it was not as bad as I had it last year for the first time. This time, you know, it was just like cold like symptoms and I was very tired. Even once, you know, all my main symptoms like runny and stuffy nose, all that kind of stuff went away. I was still very tired. I still am kind of tired, you know, it's just, you know, slowly fading away. Luckily, <laughs> thank goodness. Um, but yeah, so it was not as bad as last time. You know, I think it was something I picked up from my daughter's open house at school. They crammed us all into a classroom like a can of sardines and there was people in their coffin. It was just driving me crazy and I promise you that is where I got it because my sister-in-law got it too and she went with me to open house at school. Okay, anyways, I have a haul for you guys. I went to Rouse's. It's been a while since I went to the grocery store because like I said, I was out from being sick. I got things to do, but you know, um... This time, I don't think I'm going to show you like my other groceries. I'm gonna to try to stick to the uh, my prepper hauls. So I went straight to Rouse's just to get this. My bill was $35, okay? I was trying to keep it under 40 for the prepper pantry, that is, okay? I had to get water. My water's running low. It's been a while since I was able to go to the store. I was sick. Um, I like to get the big packs of waters at Sam's Club. I, I can't carry it, it hurts my back. I got the smaller packs of waters. That's why I went to Rouse's. There's 24 of them in there. I got one of the spring waters that was $3.49. And as you can see, I put the price on here for you guys so you can easily spot it. Then I bought two of the purified drinking waters for $3.79 each. I bought two of those. I do need to get more because like I said, I, me and my daughter, we, my daughter and I, we drink a lot of water. A lot okay so I was running low on water like I said it's been a while since I was able to go to the store because of COVID and then you know I'm trying to slowly stock back up so this haul I was able to grab three cases of water um, also this all came from Rouse's so I got a few things from my prepper pantry y'all okay just look at this real quick this is not much here I'm gonna show you guys it's just a very few items in each bag not a lot at all my bill was $35 $35 okay the prices are crazy, absolutely, positively crazy. All right, so one thing I got from a pepper pantry is some olives. Y'all, we're not big olive eaters, but I figured it's kind of good to have a variety in new things. I mean, I don't eat them regularly, but to have new things in my pepper pantry that I know we're not going to hate it. We're not going to absolutely love it. But it's going to be there for a different type of treat, different type of snack. You know, I think I think that's going to be a good thing to have. Instead of, you know, having the same old thing, you know, stockpiles of the same old thing. Have something different and exciting, you know. I mean, hey, we're not olive lovers, but <laughs> if the day ever comes, we'll be, we'll be thankful that we have something different to snack on, okay. Something different for our taste buds. This is a 8.5 ounce jar. It's the Rouse's brand and we got it for $3.49. All right, next thing, picante sauce, $2.59. This is something I do need to start buying more of and rotate through it because lately, <clears throat> excuse me y'all, lately I have been really liking <clears throat> fixing breakfast burritos. Um, I have that Jim and Dean sausage with some scrambled eggs, put some cheese in my scrambled eggs, okay? And then put it, picante sauce on it. It's so delicious, a very delicious, fulfilling breakfast, okay? So that is something I wanna start stocking up on is some picante sauce. And of course, we will rotate through that. All right, the last thing in this bag <laughs> is a can of the pink salmon. This is the Honey Boy brand. I really don't see the Honey Boy brand at Walmart, so I figured I would like to get it, you know, have different brands. This was $4.19. Oh, let's see, what is the Best Buy date? Best Buy June 2026, plus it will last long after that, so that's really good. All right, another thing we got for the Prepper Pantry is cherries. Y'all, I never, okay, <clears throat> lately I have been really liking fruit in a can. I know fresh fruit's a lot better, you know, but the 
the juice from the can is just it makes it so much better i've been eating a lot of canned pears and a lot of canned uh pineapple so i was in the canned fruit aisle <clears throat> trying to see if there was any sales, you know, and I seen this, I'm like, I have never, I know they have the cherries, you know, with the stems in the jar, you know, it's like ice cream sundaes. I know that I bought that before, but in a can like this, I have never, I've really never noticed it. I'm sure it's been there. I just overlooked it, but it's red tart, pitted cherries, water packed, um, and the best by date next year, July, 2023. But I plan on trying this before then, if I like it, um, I will buy more. I'm sorry, y'all. I just ate, and like every time I eat something with bread, it it just seems like I need to um clear my throat. So I'm sorry. Okay, next thing I got <laughs> is slow cooker fiesta chicken. Um, I hope y'all can hear me. My air conditioner just kicked on. But this is the slow cooker fiesta chicken. It's the McCormick seasoning pack. This was two dollars seventy nine cents. Okay. Um, to have different types of seasoning is just really good. Um, this is something that we will rotate through in the prepper pantry, but I'm, um, you know, I just want to buy one here and there because I really don't have many of this flavor. <clears throat> and y'all, seriously, that looks so, so good. Some Fiesta chicken over some white rice. That's really good. And not to mention, this is good for the prepper pantry because you don't have to use a slow cooker for this. You don't have to. You could use some canned chicken and you don't have to use a whole packet either. <laughs> you know, however much can, if you have a small thing of canned chicken, think of this. If you have a small thing of canned chicken, um, some corn, some black beans, okay? Use a little bit of this. Probably, you probably need to mix it with some water, I'm guessing. But just sprinkle it just for some seasoning and it will go a long way. If it's just you and maybe one other person you're feeding, this would be awesome to have some fiesta chicken, especially like canned chicken. Maybe I'll do that one day for one of my um, SHTF prepper pantry meal ideas, okay? So yeah, I think I would like to do that for you guys because I'm interested in doing that for myself, okay? All right, another thing for the prepper pantry, um, you know, coffee. <laughs> uh, I know these are the Keurig cups, but y'all, for the time being, I'm drinking my Keurig cups. I and not to mention this is pumpkin pecan pie. So I really don't know how much this is honestly for the prepper pantry, but yeah, pumpkin pie season, you guys. I love me some pumpkin pie coffee. All right, so this was $5.99. It was originally $8.99, which is really pricey just for 10 Keurig cups at Rouse's, but it was on sale for $5.99. I'm not sure how much these run at Walmart. It's been a while since I bought them, but figured I would pick it up. You know, the holiday season's coming up, fall time's coming up, uh, Thanksgiving. So that pumpkin pie flavor, it's going to be so good. So I don't know how much this is really for my prepper pantry, <laughs> but it was something I wanted to get. But coffee, any kind of coffee, you know, it's good to have in your prepper pantry. If you got to have your coffee every single morning, hey, stock up on it. And even if something happens, I have plenty of, you know, normal coffee out of the bag that I can use. But when that runs out and I do have these Keurig cups, guess what? You can open a little Keurig cup and make you a small cup of coffee that way, okay? You can take the coffee grinds out of it. All right, last thing for the prepper pantry. Protein bars are good to have for your prepper pantry. So that's why I wanted to show you guys. You know, this was $2.99. I've never tried this brand before. This is the Alani Fit Protein uh, Bars. This is the Peanut Butter Crisp. This is the Nutrition Facts. Ooh, if it'll focus this is the nutrition facts if you're interested okay but i wanted to show this because i never had this before so i'm gonna try this right away to see if i like it first of all but y'all know i'm big on my protein shakes that's what i eat every single morning for breakfast is i have a protein shake the premier protein shakes mostly so having like something like this very small you can throw it in your purse you can throw it in your bag Eat it on the go. You don't have to cook it. You don't have to prepare it. And guess what? It's protein, y'all. This is 16 grams of protein. So that is a very quick meal uh, snack that you can take on the go. Fill your belly up. Give you some strength to do what you got to do that day. Uh, so if y'all are not into protein bars, that's something that you might think that you would like to have in your prepper pantry. I do recommend finding one that you like now <laughs> because... Look, I have a hard time. I really do have a hard time finding protein bars that I like. And I have found some that I, I mean, 
is really, really good protein bars. I think I talked about them in some of my other grocery haul videos. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, protein, it'll give you that chalky, nasty, nasty taste, y'all. Disgusting. So find you a good protein bar now if that's something that interests you and that either you or your family might like, you know, in an SHTF situation, okay? Um, that little bar will fill you up with that protein. It will give you some energy. It will fill you up where you can go about your day. And it be very quick and easy to eat. Nothing to cook up, nothing to heat, nothing to fix, nothing to prepare. No dishes to dirty and clean. Very easy. So that is why I wanted to show you the protein bars to give you all that idea for your prepper pantry. And of course, you would rotate through it. You know, that's that's what I do. So I rotate. I have a whole bunch of protein bars and I rotate through them. I don't eat them every day. So they do, you know, stock up in my prepper pantry, which is good. I want that, you know, for emergencies. I want that stockpile. But in the meantime, I, you know, we do rotate through it. So I wanted to grab one of this Alani brand to see if I like it. If I like it, I'll buy a bigger pack of it and I'll try the other flavors that this brand offers. Okay, so I'm making this video longer than what it is, but y'all, y'all, look. Look at this, okay? Take a very close look. 35 freaking dollars. 35 dollars. 35 freaking dollars. Mm. Did I calculate that right? I'm, I'm gonna have to double check, but $35, y'all. Damn, that is crazy. I just can't wrap my head around it. I just can't. Uh, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items, $35. I'm gonna have to double check my math. Okay, this is crazy. Let me know how the prices are around you. Please comment down below in the section, you know, we're a prepper community, talk amongst each other, comment on each other's comment, let us know. I mean, we all live in different parts of the United States and, you know, other countries too. A lot of uh, people from other countries watch my videos too, whether they comment or not. So comment, uh, let us know how things look around you. Is your store shelves empty? Are they full? Um, you know, so how does the shelves look and how do the prices look? Because I know I'm inflation's crazy so bad I mean look at this right here $35 for 10 items so let me know how things look around you what are you doing to prepare please share if you do anything new anything I you know that might interest others share it with us anyways I thank y'all for watching <laughs> don't forget to like subscribe and share take care and keep on prepping you guys